Hi, John. I was checking your animation. Let me put it here. This one. I'm going to lower the volume. And yeah, it definitely looks a little bit weird. You, you can improve it. Here's why it's looking weird, because what you need to do is take a camera and do this, this action yourself. So you can compare, that's what Walt Disney animators did. They would have a mirror and then they would do a little bit of acting and then they would do the animation. Now, here's why it, it looks weird, because if I'm naturally interacting with two objects, I'm positioning the camera so I can record. Right. And you take it like this. If I have these two objects, I just do this. I, I do this. As you can see, my elbows are close to my body and I do this. I don't do this, right? This feels weird. Uh, that, that is a, a terrible way to do this. Let me, it, it was too low. Right? So what you need to do is in your animation, you need to do, have the, the, the scientist do this. Now the question is, yeah, how can you do that? Because I believe you're using Crazy Talk f because of the style of animation. And Crazy Talk only allows you to move the arm like this, right? It doesn't allow you to move like this, or so you think, right? And what you need is to be able to put the arms a little bit towards the camera. So let me teach you how you can do that. And for that, I have Crazy Talk opened here. And there's two types of rigs. You're probably going to go in and modify the rig and redo that again, but it's worth it. Look, one type of rig, the one you're using, is to have the arm as one piece, like the anime, one piece. There's the forearm and the arm are together, right? And if we take a look at this other type of character, this character has the arm in two pieces. We have the arm and we have the forearm, right? And let me tell you what that allows you to do. Oops. What this allows you to do is this. Look, when you have the character, I'm selecting this, I press K, and then I move this. What you did is that you limited yourself to this, right? Okay, what you need to do is, remember, keep the elbow close to the body, right? But the problem is that the hand needs to go around to around here, right? It should be like this, okay? Okay, so the arm needs to be like this and have the hand here and the other hand too, right? You, we need both hands to be interacting like that. So for that, what you need to do is this. Just press Alt and then use the arrow keys in your keyboard, look, and then you can make it shorter. I'm, I have the hand selected and then Alt and then use the arrow keys. Now the problem is that it starts distorting. Can you see? It looks weird. Uh, this, this section right here, it started going like that. So instead of that, you, we need to have the arm in two layers so it doesn't distort. Like this guy. Let me show you how different you can work when you have a character in th that has the arm in two different layers. Look, I have the elbow close to the body, right? That's, that's natural. And then I can bring the hand with Alt. Look, now this has the effect of the character doing this, right? Well, well actually it would be the, this hand. Instead of this, which looks weird and unnatural, he's doing this. 
by making the forearm shorter okay so that's something you need now the question is how do you do that and please excuse that voice of the vendor <laughs> outside <laughs> anyway here's what you can do let me show you if you have uh, the crazy talk animator the pipeline version that's then this is going to be easier if not i'm gonna show you right here how you can change the the structure of your character okay so the first things off is that if i go to compose compose mode and i open this character in photoshop let me launch photoshop okay now i'm going to select the body and in here if i go to image and and see the arm you can see that we only have one layer for the arm, right? And if I take this other character, I'm gonna cancel, oops, and then open this character, open composite mode, and then from there, open this character in Photoshop. Yes, launch. You will see that in the body, I can click on image and then open that. And then you can see that we have the arm, which is one layer, and then we have the forearm. The arm is divided in two layers. So what you would need to do is go to your the, the layer of your character. And what I would do is this. I have the left arm and then I just duplicate it just click and drag to the to new and then rename this as left for arm right now right now we have two layers that are exactly the same what i'm gonna do is in one of them in the arm i'm gonna erase the forearm and in the forearm i'm gonna erase the arm right this is how i do it okay i just undo that and in the arm, I'm going to select that image and then use the lasso tool and create this. This is the, the arm, so it's going to be like this. I'm doing this very roughly. Okay, now there, I just deleted it. Let me remove, yes. Now I have, I'm pressing Control D to deselect. And now I have the arm, right? I now show the arm, click on the left forearm, look, right now what I need to delete is the arm, control Z, then I expand, I select the image, and then use the lasso tool, and then I'm going to also do a rounding end, and make sure I have the whole arm selected, yes, and then press delete, and that's it. Now I did a very poor job, but this is just to explain to you. Look, now I have an, a forearm and an arm, right? And with that, look, now the rotation can work perfectly like this, okay? Again, I would do this with more care, but right now it's just to give you a quick explanation. And if you do that, you can do the the character is going to be divided in two different uh, i mean the arm is gonna be divided in two different layers and then you can just click on the arm uh, on the hand and then use alt and then move the arrow keys that's how your character can have the the hand go like this well let me He's going like this, a little bit towards the, the, the camera and not limited to just this, which looks weird. He can do this now. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Uh, it's probably going to take you a little bit more time to re-rig re, re your characters again, but I think it's going to be worth it. Or you can just let the distortion happen, but I don't recommend it because it looks ugly. Anyway, hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.